come in peace or in pieces. Pull yourself together, man. Ah. That's how I feel every morning, actually. We know this guy. <laughs> um. Gotta get yourself together. Writings on the wall. Stumble, you might fall. Stumble, you might fall. Okay. Another day. Another quote. Get out of your head. I too have a habit of spending too much time in here. <clears throat> if you spend too much time, we have this coexistence going on. There's the world we're living in and then there's the world behind our eyeballs. All the time, our brain is just chat chattering away. And our emotions are whirling all over the place and our body is sending all these signals back and forth. And we're here, we're in it. Everything in the outside world walking around and appears we're in it, but really we're transfixed and mesmerized and overwhelmed by the chaos going on internally, physically, emotionally, um, your brain chatter, your self-talk, um, all those things that are occurring are just so um, distracting. You have OCD, ADHD, um, a million other mental health issues. Um, if you have anxiety of any kind, or if you're just human, um, we tend to think about yesterday and thinking about yesterday or something that occurred yesterday, however long ago you want to make yesterday your past can go so far as ruminating, playing it over and over and over and thinking of ways you could have done it differently if you were a time traveler, which so far we don't have a way to do that, so you are not. Um, so you need to learn to be able to let that stuff go and spending too much time anticipating tomorrow or five minutes from now or the to-do list for the day. We're doing the one thing and we're 10 moves ahead in our brain. Um, or we're one place watching a movie with our spouse or whatever. And we're thinking about work. We're off fearing, wondering, anticipating, stressing about stresses that aren't even here. It's like if you are to go skydiving like Will Smith said that he went skydiving with his friends and he really didn't want to. And he was stressing so bad about jumping out of a plane that he couldn't eat his breakfast. He couldn't sleep the night before. And then it dawned on him, you know, until the moment he's diving out of the plane, he's not in danger. Why is he wasting his now worrying about a future? And he could have always pulled out and not done it. It was his decision. We spend a lot of time wrapped up in our own mind. Sometimes you'll realize like highway hypnosis, you've gotten to your house and you don't even remember driving there <laughs> because you're just, it's on auto, you're on autopilot and you're, you're mesmerized by all the things going on in your head. You need to learn to catch yourself when you're spending too much time in there. That's one of the reasons why giving and self selfless service and will help you because it gets you out of your own problems, out of your own head and into the world around you rather than focusing on your own problems because whatever we focus on amplifies. Focusing on your own thoughts, your own 
negative past or mistakes or failures or things you're ruminating on or things you're fearing in the future, things you're anticipating, stressing, your own stuff rattling around in here 24 seven and gets you out of that and gets you focused on something in the external world. You can also practice mindfulness to be more present in the present in, in your life that's happening right now. Um, focus all of your attention, um, all of your physical sensations, all of your senses on what is happening right now. Try to draw yourself out of your head and observe. What does it feel like? Where you are, what the color of the room, um, what's your body in space, um, and just try to pull yourself into the present moment so you don't miss your own life. It's really stressful and really depressing and fruitless, largely fruitless, to be trapped in one's head so much of the time. It often leads to just anxiety and depression. And you miss the moments of your own life as they're happening. You didn't get to enjoy your breakfast. You didn't get to good sleep at night. You didn't get to enjoy that movie with your spouse because you were somewhere else. So practice mindfulness and pulling yourself back into the present when you catch yourself rattling around in your head too much. And the, another trick is to um, focus on helping someone else when you're overwhelmed with yourself because it distracts you from focusing on, hence amplifying your own suffering. And you can't redo the past, so you need to learn to let go. And the future hasn't happened yet, so it's just a projection of your imagination. So pull yourself together, man. Be this guy, not this guy. This guy's in his own head. Be this guy. Help this guy out. That'll get you out of your own head. Quote of the day before I run out of space, battery, everything else that keeps going wrong today. And I'm behind on quotes, so I better get to it. I am an old man. Apparently, I'm an old man. I am an old man and have known a great many troubles. Most of them have never happened. The stress, the strain that we put on ourselves through ruminating, anxiety, sadness, overwhelm, things that did happen, but a long time ago, going over the million ways you could do them better, ruining and missing out on the present moments that could be joyful and add to your bucket list of happy moments to stockpile positive memories when things are rough, that you can go back to these happy places. You're missing your present moment, which is your life. In anticipating the future, we can't fortune tell. And the biggest way to de-stress a large task or a stressful upcoming thing is to break it down into tiny bite-sized portions, one thing at a time, to get one thing at a time in small pieces. You can't eat a whole elephant in one bite, Desmond Tutu. Um, so when you do have tangible, you know you've got something big coming up and it leads you to constantly be thinking about that big thing and you're agonizing and you're anxious and you're overwhelmed or fearful about the future. You don't know how it's going to turn out. Try to be in the present moment, break it down into little steps and take it one bite at a time. That's how you eat an elephant. So try to stay out of here too often. You don't want to have no insight, of course. We need insight, but you don't want to be trapped inside. I am an old man 
and have known a great many troubles, but most of them have never happened. They were creations of one's own mind. The suffering you're experiencing, the anxiety, the fear, the guilt, the shame, the missing out on precious moments, the not being present and participatory in your own life can sometimes be because you're trapped inside your head. It's not real. Action makes it so. You gotta let go of the past. Try not to fortune tell. If you got something big coming up, break it down into small bite-sized pieces you can do one at a time. Try to practice mindfulness when you catch yourself wrapped in your head or try to help someone else who is suffering when you are suffering so that your mind is focused on them and not on yourself because giving will improve your mood and it causes your attention to be external instead of internal. And um, yeah, that's what I got. Good morning, goodbye you guys, gals, he, she, they, and anyone else. Um, cats, dogs, fish, porcupine. Good morning, goodbye. Peace.